for this task we are going to see on how we can use or how we can create a table directly in the code now if you are already working with uipath studio there is a build data table activity that will help us to create a table now when we are working with uipath web studio we don't have build data table activity now how we can do that the final result that we are going to see is something like this which contains student id student name and the class in which they are in now how to work with these activities let's go ahead and check with the steps create a new project let's create a new variable called student data and we'll create a new data table for it using the code that we can write now and the next one is to add a data column now for this table we need to add three columns student id student name and class in which they are in we'll have add column activity in that add column we will just give our details and finally after creating all the three columns we need to add the rows so remember first we need to create columns and then we need to add the rows and after adding all the rows we need to finally write the table in the google sheet let's go ahead and create the code create a new project and give it a name build and write data to spreadsheet click on create go to data manager and click on this create variable and the variable type since we are working with tables we need to use data table the type of it should be advanced types and data table click on this data table and variable name will be dt student data and by default we will have a new data system dot data dot data table value assigned leave it as is click on create so for this table we need to create or we need to add new columns click on the plus symbol and then add data column and for this data column let's go ahead and write the column name the column name that we are going to write is student id and here we are going to assign it to a data table click on the plus symbol use variable and we will be assigning it to our variable data student data like this let's go ahead and create two more columns copy this and you can paste it twice so that we will have three columns generated so the first column is for student id the second column is for student name and the third column is for student class okay now that we have created all the three columns let's go ahead minimize all the three now we need to create multiple rows or we can create add data to it click on the plus symbol we have data row to add click on add data row in the table we need to select the table name dt student data and here in array row they, we will get a correction builder if you know how to write the code you can directly write the code but if you don't know how to write the code this is the easiest way you can click on add and you need to give a list of values since we have three columns we need to give three values let's go ahead and give the first id which is one and the second id or second value the name of it which is shaurya and the class of the student is eight click on save now we have added one item now let's go ahead and add two more items and let's see result now we have added three data rows add data row one and two now let's go ahead and click the details over here items in collection and we can change it connection builder now let's go ahead and give two here and here vajrang and class two click on save here click on the plus symbol collection builder we are just updating the previously updated values this is the id and here we can write swati and then we will update it as four click on save now we have generated a table using build data table or new data table that's assigned over here and then we have added three columns column one column two and data column and we have added three rows now we will get a data table and we need to write this data table inside our google sheet let's go ahead and create a new sheet add a sheet in this sheet write build table 
so in this sheet we are going to write the values go ahead and click in the plus symbol and we know how to use it write range and we need to select a google workspace it will automatically give me the connection if you don't have a connection click on the plus symbol or click on this settings button and add a new connection and in the spreadsheet let's go ahead and add the spreadsheet my drive bajrang web studio click on this and the range will be build data table or build table we need to include headers so we'll add the headers from the top and if there is already data in it you can append at the bottom you can also append it at the right or you can overwrite for now i'm going to overwrite the data and click on this symbol what is the variable that we need to add over here now the complete table is in our dt student data click on this plus symbol and then click on the variables and dt student data so using seven activities or eight activities we are able to successfully generate the code let's go ahead and quickly run the code and it is running all the columns and data are added and it ran successfully and the data is available over here so this is how you can update or you can generate a table directly in the code or in the studio of web and then you can update it to a google sheet let's go ahead and quickly recap we need to write a final table like this in our google sheet for this we have set of activities first we need to create a project and then we need to create a variable and after creating a variable called dt student data we need to change the data type of it to a data table and then after creating the variable add data column is the activity that you need to add we will add three columns and we need to name it properly called student id student name and student class and then we need to add the values to a data table that is duty student data and after adding all the columns we need to add data rows to it and we will do it thrice so we will add three data rows add data row and then finally we will write and finally we will write using a write range activity of google workspace and once we have completed it run the project and finally see the result in the output and this is my result this completely added my details into my spreadsheet that's it for this session check out the next session hey amazing viewers hope you are loving our content if you haven't subscribed yet hit that subscribe button right now